Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today I wanted to go over some common mistakes that I've noticed that students and or new 3D artists make. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever opened up a Maya file and all the textures are missing and you don't know why, and then you have to go into Maya and reconnect all your files? Well, I'm gonna show you something that a lot of students and new 3D artists do, and that is to set your project. Now, this is the wrong way. I'm gonna show you the wrong way, then I'm gonna show you the right way. Let's say that I was working in the industry and someone gave me this file called Animal Control. And you may be tempted into just double clicking, going directly to the scenes, which is where most Maya scenes are gonna be found, and then you just double click. Now, this already is gonna cause a couple of problems. One, you're gonna notice that it's opening up Maya 2018. Now, in my computer, I have Maya 2016, 17, and 18. Maya 2016 uses Mental Ray nodes. Maya 17 and 18 use Arnold. What's gonna happen is that I'm gonna get a lot of errors. So right away, it's giving me an error saying that, hey, this thing contains Mental Ray nodes. We're not really sure how to handle this, so what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna click OK. Then it's gonna tell me, hey, we just found a ton of errors. We're not sure what to do. You're gonna probably lose some data. You might want to take a look at the script editor, which we conveniently popped up over here and show you all the errors are occurring. So I'm like, okay, thanks Maya. As a 3D artist, if you're new at this, you may be like, you click okay, you're like, what is all this? And what's what this is telling you is all the errors, but when it tells you warning, 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 um, there's there might be a couple of issues here. So I'm gonna close the script editor, and you're also gonna be alarmed by the fact that there's some really bright fluorescent green items here. So these are the ones that are using a Mia Material X. This is something that you find in Mental Ray. Again, we're in Maya 2018, so that means that it only uses Arnold. The second thing you'll notice is that even though blends isn't working, they do translate from 16, 17, and 18. So I take a look at the color and I notice that there's an input. I click on the input and I'm starting to see that there is an issue with the connection. So that issue is that this is a direct path and what a direct path means, it's gonna look for C, it's gonna look for user, it's gonna look for an owner, uh, in this case a Dropbox, this advanced hard surface. Finally it's looking for the file and it can't find it. So that's why it's dark. So you may be tempted in going into the Hypershade and you're gonna notice that these are all mental ray nodes so that means that none of it's working and all the files are missing. So if I go to my textures, you're gonna go here and you're gonna see that there's a lot of textures missing. Now, it's up to you if you want to reconnect them over and over. However, these should have been connected by the previous person. So the question is, what happened? Well, what's going on is that if you double click on a Maya file, it's gonna open it on the default, uh, Maya 2018, and it's going to not recognize where the textures are located. So you always have to do what's called setting your project. So let me show you the right way of how to open up your Maya file. So the first thing you wanna do is open up the correct Maya. So I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna go in here and type in Maya 2016. Now I built this in 2016, so I know this is gonna work. Just make sure that if you're gonna be working with multiple people to let you know what version they're using. The next thing I'm gonna do is set my project. I'm gonna to go to file, set project, I'm gonna find my animal control folder, set, file, open. So these are three steps that you need to do is open up the correct version, set your project, and then open up the file. It's three steps, but these are three steps that are gonna help. So I'm gonna open up and there you go. So now that it's open, you'll see that all the textures are, are connected. I have no errors whatsoever. Everything's happy, everything's wonderful. Because what's going on is that I can see that all the textures are working, I can see that the lights are there, and I can start moving on from here. Again, it may seem like extra steps, but these extra steps are gonna prevent you from having so much grief, especially if you're working with textures. This is so important when it comes to textures. If you don't do this correctly, you're gonna have so many issues. So let's take a look at our blend. Let's see, da, 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 da. Find look for blend, which by the way, this should be labeled, but uh, color, click on the input, and right away you'll see that it's, it does not have a direct path. This is called an absolute path, which means that it knows exactly where to search for it, which is source images and then the texture. So perfect, that's exactly what I'm looking for. If you're wondering, how do you create this folder? Well, I have tons of folders like this and they all come with the same exact folder tree. So for example, the beveled edges, they all come with the same folder tree. What you wanna make sure is that uh, all of your Maya scenes are in scenes, all of your completed textures are in source images, and sometimes I usually work on my images 
under images. And by the way, this is where it renders as well. So all of my renders are actually in here. I'm trying to find a render for you. So here's one occlusion. All right, everybody. I hope that was helpful. I know that was really fast. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on this because I do get a lot of questions about that, questions about why some things aren't working. And I just wanted to make sure that this tutorial was available for you. If you think this is important or you think it would help a friend, please share my videos in social media or with your friends. Please let me know what your thoughts are. I'm always reading your comments at the bottom. And also don't forget to check out my website, Academic Phoenix plus.com and if you sign up you can get my newsletter you're going to get access to workshops and you're also going to get pre-release content thank you so much again i truly appreciate all your support and i will see you next time